Hey, this is Toby. Welcome back to another video. So this will be a little bit different. Um, I will just talk about a topic around algorithmic trading. And I'm also sorry for the bad audio quality um, as I'm on vacation right now and I don't have the best setup, but I just wanted to record a video for you guys. So in today's video, I want to talk about the importance of good quality data for your back tests and your strategy development process. So most people, when they start with algorithmic trading, they just go on YouTube and search for the best EA, the best strategy, and then they code their EA. Um, and then they use the MetaTrader 5 or the MetaTrader 4 strategy tester to backtest their strategies. And I really did the same thing in the beginning. So when I started with algorithmic trading, I just coded my EAs and used the strategy tester to backtest all my strategies. And yeah, I did not even thought about the quality of the data. I just assumed that the data provided by my broker is good enough. And yeah, the point is good data is really the foundation of your strategy development process and should be the first step in your algorithmic trading journey. And also some of you guys sent me a message that the backtest they did with the EAs I show here on YouTube, um, they don't match the backtest I show in the end of the videos. Um, yeah, most of the time the reason is just different data. So if you are using the default broker data, uh, your backtest can look completely different. And I also want to show you an example for bad data with my broker, Darwin X. I think it's a great broker, but the data, um, even a few years back, I think it's in 2015, there is a shift of time, first of all, and also overnight the wick of the first bar um, is way too big. So every strategy will be stopped out. And of course, a backtest using the broker data in this case does not make sense and is completely useless. Okay, so here we are in the MetaTrader platform and I just want to show you the bad candles. Um, here for the symbol, this is Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, five minute chart. The year is 2015. And this is not only for the symbol, but this is for many symbols. Um, with my broker, unfortunately. So here you can see the first bar of each day is way too big. And this will, of course, um, take out any stop loss and take profit. So backtesting with the default broker data uh, makes no sense here. And here, another example of bad um, data. This is also the default broker symbol, British pound, Japanese yen. The year is 2018. And you can see the wick here, for example, is way too big. And what I do, I compare the data to another data source. Um, so I just link the charts together with my data editor here. And down below here is the data from Lucas copy. And we can see the quality here is much better. So I would take um, the data from Lucas copy here for my back tests. And now how to solve this problem or how to get good data for your back tests. So if you watched my strategy development playlist here on YouTube, um, I will link it up here. You already know that I use the data editor and the spread recorder to prepare my data for my backtests. And very important, I'm not saying that you have to use my data editor or spread recorder. It's just what I do. And I developed these tools because I was looking for something on MQL5 and there was nothing available. So I coded uh, these tools for my own trading. Um, you can use any other tool to create your own process. Um, I just want to say it's important that you do check your data um, before you start your first backtest. So now in my opinion, if you want to be successful in algo trading, you have to learn all this stuff. You have to dig in. In Germany we say reinfuchsen. Um, yeah, you just have to create your own process and have to learn all that stuff uh, from the ground up. Okay, so that's basically all I want to tell you here in this video about the importance of good quality data for your backtests. Um, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, if it was helpful or leave a like and yeah, there's more I could talk about around algorithmic trading, like how many years of history you need for your back tests or the different modeling modes in MetaTrader 5. So let me know in the comments and I will also get a better mic for future videos. And I wish you the best in trading. Have a great Sunday and I will see you in one of the next videos. Bye bye.
Okay, and I am in the middle of nowhere 